Good morning, everybody. Sports Live and ATL David here with this quick video. Road to 3K is in full effect. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when all the awesome content uploads. Please share it out to your media outlets and click either like or dislike. It all helps the channel. And if you care to support the channel, I do have Cash App, PayPal, and uh, Super Chat available. Alrighty then. Uh, I just want to make this a uh, little quick thing because I'm busy today. Uh, I will be streaming the uh, NCAA ACC Men's College Basketball Tournament Championship game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Florida State Seminoles. Georgia Tech making the uh, ACC Championship came out of nowhere. Hell, Georgia Tech in general uh, qualifying for the postseason because Georgia Tech's record clearly is good enough to get into the um, uh, NCAA Tournament, which selection will pop in on Sunday night. So Georgia Tech will be playing in the NCAA Tournament also. I uh, hope to do a game or two of that, depending how long they're in it. Um, Georgia, after their uh, fast start this year, faded away once conference hit. So they'll probably make the NIT, which is the National Invitation Tournament, which is meaningless in the grand scheme of things. But it's still a tournament. So if Georgia gets selected, Georgia should play, give their uh, kids some experience in postseason and make a run next year. But uh, Josh Pastner has done a fabulous job with uh, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Uh, again, when I say that it came out of nowhere... They were under suspension for infractions, uh, and they were banned from the turn from any tournament postseason play last year. They had a winning record, I believe, a couple games over. And then this year, they started playing well, but they were playing well under the notion that they would not be eligible for any tournament play. And then about a week or two ago, it got lifted. So that was great to be able to uh, reward these kids uh, for having a good season. About 16 wins, I believe. And uh, now they're playing for the ACC championship. I know it's not North Carolina. It's not Duke. Duke withdrew because of COVID. Virginia was supposed to play uh, play Tech yesterday, but they withdrew because of COVID issues. Hopefully there's no uh, elongated uh, issues um, with any other teams. That's why I said this thing is just – I don't know when this is going to end. But I'm going to be streaming the game tonight. The tip-off is at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. I will be doing it around 8.25 p.m., somewhere around there. I look forward to doing this surprise game. Didn't expect it. And I know people are going to say about with my fanhood. I, I've said this a million times. I'm a state I'm a state follower. Anything, Mercer, Kennesaw State, Georgia, Georgia Tech, uh, Georgia Southern, anybody. Anybody that has to do with the Georgia, I, I, I support. Um, and I think the state of Georgia might have one other team in the tournament. I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll have to look at it once the selections come out. But uh, this is great news. I'm excited. Um, not many people are giving Georgia Tech a chance to win here. You know, the radio just said that if Florida State comes out and plays the way that they're capable, Florida State win can win by 20. Could happen. But if Florida State doesn't come out, Georgia Tech could win and be, be ACC champions as if it's like some kind of knock. How about reward the, the, the team the fact that they got here? You know, it's not Georgia Tech or Florida State's fault that these teams had COVID or had down years. OK, North Carolina had a chance and they, and, uh, they lost last night. Duke, unfortunately, uh, didn't have a great year. They had, a, they had an NIT type year, but for them, it was underachieving. But uh, give credit to the teams that are there. You know, so I hope Georgia Tech wins, not only for the state of Georgia. It is a tournament championship if we can get it done. Um, and I've seen Georgia Tech win a couple of these in the 80s and 90s with Georgia Tech, you know, Mark Price and Dal Rimple and Tommy Hammonds and et cetera. So we, James Forrest, we've had some good teams when Bobby Crimmins was here. So hopefully this means Georgia Tech is back to where uh, I'm, I'm used to seeing them. So anyways, tonight, everybody, hope you can make it. Look forward to the newbies and uh, let's get this done. Hope everybody has a great Saturday. Hope your Friday was good. Again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, notification bell, like, dislike, share all your media outlets. And on this sunny Saturday, Sports Live in the ATL. I will see you tonight, which is the next one.